What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so in today's video I have a follow up for the video that I made yesterday about the sandbox escape exploit that was allegedly going to be released. We finally have the results, he sent me the POC or the proof of concept of his exploit and we're going to talk about it. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone which allows you to make backups easier than with iTunes and fix your iPhone if it's broken using their iOS system repair. Check the program out in the link below. So for those of you who watched my video yesterday and I'm talking about this video in here, I was talking about a new iOS 11.4.1 slash iOS 11.4 jailbreak exploit that was allegedly going to be released by this developer in here, James Sally. He said, quote, my latest exploit for iOS 11.4.1 is a complete sandbox escape allowing the user to gain full root access. So basically I have a jailbreak exploit for 11.4.1. Now the claims were pretty big and a lot of people asked me if this is legitimate and of course I was skeptical so I asked him for a proof and of course for the exploit. So he did send me finally what he had and unfortunately it's not what he is claiming. This is not a sandbox escape. However, it turns out that his exploit does indeed make some modifications to the iOS, enabling some features and enabling some customization without even being jailbroken. So we're going to discuss in depth about that. But yes, the answer is no. This is not an exploit for sandbox escaping. And I'm not entirely sure why he's saying here that it can be a complete sandbox escape, because it doesn't work like that. And it's not that. And the minute I saw the exploit, or the profile that he's using to do this, of course I realized that it cannot be true because the way he tries to get complete sandbox escape is by altering a pillast file in the system to make Springboard run as root and then to of course exploit that using IMBeard's exploit, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. He did post a few photos in here in which he details how it works and if you take a look he changes the username for Springboard from mobile to root, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. And the reason for that is that you're not able to alter this pillast file on the file system because of course the file system on the iOS is of course read only which means that you need to remount before you can do any sort of modification and we do not have a remount and a kernel exploit that we can use for a remount on iOS 11.4.1. So there is no way he can change this file and he doesn't. So this is not what he claims. However, as I said, his exploit is not completely fake. It does have some functionality and it does change some things. And I'm going to show you exactly what it does. So as I said, even though this exploit he has or these profiles he has are not usable for a jailbreak in any ways, the people who are customizing their devices on non-jailbroken may find it very useful because it's able to change quite a lot of things on the device. So you're not able to see it right now because I'm recording the device, but it changes the uh, wireless icon from the uh, icon that is usually used for wireless into the actual signal strain in numbers. So that's something very useful. Another thing that his exploit can do is to change the carrier name, even though you're not jailbroken. So if you go ahead in here, you can see one of the uh, screenshots that I took earlier, and you can see that my carrier in there is GSNOW32.0. So if your carrier is, for example, Wind or Verizon or, I don't know, Tim or I don't know, AT&T, you can change that in the status bar and in the settings to be something custom. And of course, that is actually very powerful because normally you wouldn't be able to do that without a jailbreak. So there is some power. Something else that happened after I ran his Explorer, installed his profile, is when I go here to Wi-Fi, there is a new tab or there's a new option called diagnostic mode and if I open that one in here it has some ability to save some logs and so on which wasn't there before and is now in here so it does enable some interesting stuff and if I go ahead and scroll down you can see that I have some FaceTime debugging iMessage debugging and accessory developer, which if I go ahead in here and open, they contain some strange settings, which I have no idea what they do, but they were added after I ran his profile. Another important thing that it does is that it enables the battery percentage on the iPod Touch. You probably know that by default from factory, the uh, iPod doesn't have a battery percentage. You have the battery icon on the status bar, but there is no percentage. So his profiles actually enabled the battery percentage on the iPod without having to jailbreak or to modify a backup and so on, which is again good for customizing your device without jailbreak. Then another thing that has been added after I ran the exploit is here in uh, privacy. 
and scrolling down to analytics and there is this button in here snapshot file system metadata which if i press is going to run for a while and then it's going to tell me to connect to itunes to pick up my snapshot so what this does is to prove that his profiles or the way he exploits the apple care certificates does indeed do some modifications and there might be more things that can be modified where these things came from but yeah definitely not a jailbreak exploit as he claimed and even though this is useful it's not what he claimed so yeah thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope this makes it clear what it is and even though it has some functionality some even neat functionality in here you know change the carrier name and enable the battery percentage and so on it's not what he claims so it's not a jailbreak exploit so for the moment i'm going to call that dude not reliable for anything related to jailbreak exploits or sandbox escape exploits that is pretty much my video thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time peace out